Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This time, it's the turn of the next generation of Microsoft 365 Search. Absolutely awesome technology, but just how does it work and what does it do? Remember, if you like what you see, click on that subscribe button, ring the bell and don't miss a thing. So, are you ready to learn? Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Andy Malone, Microsoft MVP and Microsoft Certified Trainer. In this week's episode, we're going to take a look at Microsoft Search. Now, if I would have said Bing Search or uh, SharePoint Search in the past, it would have had a little snigger. That's because, to be honest, it wasn't very good. But I got to tell you, now with the power of Microsoft Azure AI, artificial intelligence behind it, it's become quite a formidable presence. But just exactly how does it work? Well, I think it's time for a demo. Let's have a look. So here we are in the next generation of Microsoft 365 Search. And you can see that I'm on my home page. And right away, if I click into the Search dialog box, um, everything kind of pops up here. So it's saying, even before I type anything in, it's showing me my most recently used files, my most recently used contacts and sites here. Now, just before I show you search here, I want to show you the way it used to be. And for this, I am gonna pop into the admin center. So in the admin center in 365, I'm gonna go into show all, and then I'm gonna go into Microsoft SharePoint. So kind of the, the story of search really comes from SharePoint, actually. And if you go in, this is the, the new SharePoint admin center. But if you go into new features, you can see here that we had search and search in the old days. You Everything here was manual. You had to create all your own search query rules, the the you know, the text that you want to put in your search, everything had to be pretty much be configured manually here. Um, and I'm really glad to say that that's no longer the case. So um, now what we can see in the, um, just coming back to the home page here, is that it's all AI driven. So artificial intelligence driven. And if I type in the word sales here, you can see that it's, it's showing me that anything with the word sales pops up. So not just websites, not just files, um, but also individuals as well. Now, if I hit on enter on that, you can see it's showing me everything with the word sales in. Um, you can also add in, you know, extra reports is, uh, uh, information as well. So if I put in uh, reports, um, you can see it further refines that reports as well. So you can add in multiple uh, text there yourself. Now, um, if I go, I can click onto files, of course, I can go in and I can have a look at the report and it opens it right up in uh, Microsoft Word. And you can see that that same search dialog box is here as well. Now, if you go into Word here, um, it can show you obviously not just um, files and contacts and uh, and so on, but also commands as well in Microsoft Word. So if you're looking for, you know, how do I format something? How do I save something? You can type a search in here and it will help you uh, fix that issue. So that the search results is really useful. Um, now, also, you can see here that depending on what you've searched for, you, you might also get uh, people as well. So if I just take out the word reports and just go into sales um, and then come back into people, you can now see that we've got uh, individuals. Um, you can you can email them. You've got phone numbers to contact them. So it fully integrates with Microsoft Teams. And more than that, you can also see any news, uh, any information. And we've got this Power BI feature as well. So again, if you have Power BI as part of your um, infrastructure, as part of your Microsoft 365 subscription, I should say, then of course you'll get all those fantastic features of Power BI here, you see. Um, and you can, you can then uh, get a lot more uh, information. 
So that's that's the first thing. So uh, the the key thing to note is that it's all AI driven, artificial intelligence driven. Absolutely fantastic. And in terms of finding stuff, it's so much faster than uh, what we've had in the past. Now, just before I go any further, um, I'm often asked, Andy, can you customize this? You know, what people see, what they can't see, and so on. Absolutely, you can. So if I go into my admin center here, um, you can scroll down and I am going to come into, I'm going to come into settings. And in my settings here, we have the search and intelligence. So if I go into search and intelligence here, First of all, it gives you a full insight. Remember, this is from the tenant level. So it shows you, you know, how many searches. Now, obviously, I've not got much here because I've not been searching. This is just a demo tenant, by the way. Um, but it's showing you everything between the last 31 days or you can go up to a year as well. So what are the most popular queries that people are searching for? Um, so what are the top queries? So um, uh, again, uh, where the queries have produced no reports or no, no answers or any queries that have been uh, abandoned here. Now, what we can also have here, this is very cool up here. Um, this is search and intelligence. I can go into answers and, it, you know, if I wanted to customize this myself, can I do that? Absolutely, you can. So, you know, for example, the first thing is you might have an acronym here. So you can see I, I put one in here yesterday, you know, Azure AD. What does Azure AD mean? It means Azure Active Directory. So you can add in, uh, you can put in a description, you can put in a source. So if people are looking for um, acronyms, that's a really nice useful because let's face it, a lot of companies have their own acronyms and it can be quite confusing. Um, the other thing you can also put in bookmarks as well. So if you want to bookmark a, a specific page or a specific location in a, in a web page, then you can obviously do that as well. And you can see that there's a whole bunch of kind of uh, preset ones, pre-configured ones uh, there for you as well that you can use. And with these, by the way, you can either include, exclude. Um, so this is almost um, the same as the... Uh, custom queries, for example, that we used to have in, in SharePoint. And one really useful thing is that you might have is floor plans in an organization. So floor plans can be really, really useful, especially for, you know, locating specific types of equipment, for example, teams, rooms, um, routers, printers, and so on in your organization. So you can go off and you can add in a floor plan here. Now, um, how do you do it? Uh, again, as always, the cool stuff here is where you get these links, I can go go ahead, click on the links, and it takes me straight to docs.microsoft.com, and it shows you exactly how to do it. And also, some of the links also are connected to videos as well. Um, in locations, so again, depending on the size of your organization, you may have... Uh, a number of different offices, for example, branch offices, head offices, and so on. So you can go ahead and you can add in, uh, for example, different locations. And this can also connect with things like Azure Active Directory as well. So if you're using conditional access, um, which is a security feature in Azure Active Directory, there's a video on my channel. Go ahead and check it out. Um, so you can uh, put in uh, locations for your different offices there for your different, uh, you know, maybe you've got different offices for your business and so on. Um, often people want to ask questions. So what are the most common questions? And this is, again, artificial intelligence. So you can think about, okay, what are the most common questions that new employees might ask or the most common questions that salespeople might ask? And you can add those questions in and you can add in answers for them. So again, you can connect it to um, really make, make it really intelligent here. Now, the other two things um, I, unfortunately, I can't demonstrate, but I'll, I'll mention it. 
connectors. So if you're a, a fairly large organization, one of the cool things is, is you can go ahead and you can pretty much connect the search to anything. So Oracle, SQL, Azure databases, um, it can be an in-house SQL server. It can be a, even a file share. So, it, for example, it might be a file share with a, an Excel spreadsheet or an Excel database or something like that. So you can add that in there as well. So that, that is a really superb uh, feature that you, fact you can, you're not just stuck with Microsoft 365 um, queries. You can connect to any type of data source. Now, once you've connected to those data sources, you can also do um, customizations of that data. So one, you can create your own search result layout, which again is awesome. So you can customize, you know, for example, you know, if it was a, a corporate database, um, certain groups of users, you don't want them to see certain aspects of that database. So that's where you can put those rules in there. Um, again, with configuration settings, uh, one of the things is you want to change Microsoft Search Bing settings. So Bing is the second most popular search engine in the world. And you can uh, have users in your organization. Do you want to uh, use Bing? Do you want to integrate your search with Bing? Indeed. So it will actually go off and it will find your content. Um, so that's a, a really nice uh, feature there. So just a quick mention, uh, I just mentioned SharePoint, uh, didn't I? So um, if I just pop back to sh back into SharePoint, um, just to mention a couple of things, because SharePoint and Microsoft 365, of course, are very highly integrated. Um, this more features um, thing here, um, this is basically all the legacy, all the old stuff that Microsoft are starting to move into Microsoft 365. And in fact, you can see here um, that some of these features are now starting to move over into SharePoint. Um, now, if you're using Teams and you're using SharePoint, a couple of things that you might want to look at is the term store. Now, the term store, um, uh, this is really quite useful um, for structuring the content in your organization. So certainly with people, you can see here we've got some examples here. So search dictionaries, uh, you also get, uh, for example, system settings. So these, this is called your, your search terms. And within these search terms, you can create these different terms and you can also have sub terms as well. So for example, all the different um, departments within your organization. This is particularly useful for searching and tagging of content. So it allows users to find content much easier. So th think of this as the structure of your organization. Now, the one interesting thing as well is this is great. Um, now, in, if I go into the content uh, type gallery, these are all my different types of assets in Microsoft 365 SharePoint. So you can see here, for example, we have a folder. We, we have a form here. So a form, of course, is a document. Um, I'm often asked, Andy, can I customize the, these these items absolutely you can so we have this here you can add in what we call site columns now columns in sharepoint are attributes so if you want to add in an additional attribute in a form so for example car type birthday anything you can basically this is where you do it you go ahead and you can add in your a site column here. So you can create, so remember what I said, a site column is essentially an attribute. You can either create a new item or you can create from um, an existing column. So you can take something from uh, another uh, term. So that's essentially what the content gallery is. Very, very cool feature. Okay. And that is uh, just a little bit about how search in Microsoft 365 works.
So there you have it, Microsoft SharePoint Search. Absolutely fantastic, next generation AI-based uh, controls. If you've enjoyed this session, I really hope you have, uh, go ahead and click on that subscribe button, ring that bell, and don't miss any future postings. And of course, as always, if you want to find more information on who I am and what I do, go ahead, visit my website, andymalone.org. So until next time, you stay safe. Remember, if you like what you've seen, go ahead and subscribe and check out these other related videos. Thanks again.